This is Sway. 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 In the morning. In the morning. In the morning. I'm gonna shake your body. Wake your fuck ass up. The size of an ice pick. Twice. It was the most disturbing shit I've ever seen in my entire life. And I've seen some pretty disturbing shit. Man. Sway in the morning, Shade 4 5. We be bringing it, though. Hey. <laughs> that is the voice of the one and only Miss Tara Thornton. We had to take it back first before she walked into this room, man. We had to do it. Rotina Wesley is here. Citizens hey. welcome her. Make it loud and make it proud in here for Rotina. Hi. I love it. Hello, hello, hello. Rotina, you don't know me, but um, I'm glad you're here because this was like a, a funny thing of mine. I was like, one day I'm going to meet her. And I'm going to tell her that long time ago, back in 1992, I did this show called Real World. It was the first season of MTV. And I became, ironically, I became friends with the white girl from Alabama on the show. So I'm okay. from Jersey City, New Jersey, the hood. And I became friends with <laughs> right. this girl from the South. That part, right. And we were just inseparable. And we're still friends 24 years later to this day. And you and Sookie Stackhouse reminded me of me and my friend Julie the whole time. I, it's just been a fantasy to tell you this story. I love of that. My, no. I just wanted them to capture it, bring it into the new world. And they did that with True Blood. Welcome to the show. It is so good to finally meet you. Thank you. It's nice to meet you, too. Thank what you. What the hell was that audition like uh, for that show? For True Blood? Yeah. You know, um, I remember auditioning in New York uh, oh, okay. with Alan Ball and... Oh, honey, I went in there with props. I had a towel, an apron. I was not playing around with the Super Saver Bunch scene when mm -hmm. she's at work. And yeah. she's like, you know, job, you know. And she's, I, I went in there and uh, I remember Helen was like, oh, you, you you need that towel. I was like, no, this is my prop. This is my prop for the bar. Yeah. So I'm a, when I go to that scene, I'm going to have my, my props because <laughs> I brought props because I'm real serious about this part right now. Juilliard. Um, right. I, I, was, I was real method. Um, and I remember him just laughing and really, uh, enjoying me. And I was so nervous. Um, and it wasn't until I went out LA to LA and tested for it, um, that I really sort of was like, whoa, like this is, um, this is an amazing experience. Uh, just working with him in the room, Alan Ball was just, uh, I, I couldn't, I really couldn't believe it, you know? And it was a beautiful seven years, seven mm -hmm. glorious years, uh, a family atmosphere we were still happy to go to work in year seven you know and uh, that's kind of rare because sometimes you know you get tired after a while yeah and I never really got tired of the crazy like I actually kind of I kind of liked the crazy uh you know high stakes that was true blood you know um people still come up to me and they're like let me check your teeth yeah let me yeah. see them eyes could you bite me no <laughs> I'm not gonna bite you maybe that's, that's you know? so funny we've had um, Alex Skarsgård Alex Skarsgård here <sighs> we had um Alex. Who played? I can't. Why can't I think of any of their names? We had the main, the Bill. We Bill was here. Oh, Stephen. Stephen mm -hmm. was here. We've had Deb Deborah. I know that was her original name. The her real name. Yeah, the Deborah. girl who played with the red hair. That's Deborah Ann Wall. She's okay. amazing. Okay, she yes. was here. We've had um. I feel we've had the other one who became oh, like uh, 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 the wolf. Uh, else, uh, um, the, um, I can never say his name. Joe yeah. Maganello. Yeah, yeah. 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 We had the one who became the president. Um, he 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 got killed. He was either boyfriend or he. I don't know, what was the president um, the, the, of the whole all of them? Oh, um, Chris Maloney. Or are you Chris talking Maloney about Chris Maloney has been here Dennis as well. O Dennis O'Hare has oh, been here as truth. well. We've had ev almost every single person here except for Anna. Is that that's the name? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Except, Anna except yeah. for Anna, it was, Lafayette was here. He, he we went to school together. I know yes. that. I was. I'm calling him Lafayette. What the hell is his real name? Nelson. <laughs> Nelson. I Nelson. saw him last night. Actually, did you? Yeah, he came through to support me in uh, in Queen Sugar. In Queen and Sugar. Some love, that, and uh, I hadn't seen him in a while, so it was just it was really good to see him. So that's crazy that you just bring him up. Yeah, the song. We've had pretty much the entire cast because we've all been fans of that show, <laughs> love and that. we've pretty. <laughs> much ask each and every one of them to bite us too and they were just like oh, so that's a, so you, you want, <laughs> no okay. no no I'm not well i'm gonna that think that about you. it let me but they let me come in let people, me get ready but they said that people always ask it's like why do you want this i don't know we be, we became fans and became fascinated and the connection with it for me was i didn't understand how come juilliard trained 
actors are so good at playing wicked evil people like <laughs> when you switched over to a vampire i was like shit she's good you know you're, you're really good <laughs> oh, but then i did the history of it a lot of people that's graduated from juilliard uh anthony mackie yeah. as well oscar he, isaac he he gets deep he get what is that what do you guys tap into you everything you know mm. we're method uh <laughs> um, right you know they teach us a lot about um you know, script analysis and um, and character analysis mm. and, um, y- you know, voice, speech, class, all that stuff comes into play, oh, wow. when, especially when you get a show like True Blood. Mm-hmm. And what I loved about True Blood actually is it was so theatrical that I could really be out there with mm-hmm. it. I could really use my voice. Uh, I could really sort of... Uh, the stakes were really high, so I could just be really out there and really use some some tools that maybe I would only use, say, on stage okay. in a play. Mm-hmm. Because we did have some very, um, you know, the situations with like the group orgies in the middle of the night, yeah, stuff like that is like, oh, <laughs> let me. I don't really have no sense memory for this, but yeah. let me just figure it out. Um, you know, so it's it, it was like uh it was that kind of show where I felt like that training really did come in handy, especially when you're playing like some of the people who played, you know, if you're playing a shifter, or if you're playing any anyone that's a supernatural character. Mm-hmm. You know, we went around in like, you know, movement class, they were like, you know, be an ape and you're like Okay, what's that like? And so they gotta get the black people to be an ape. No, no, you know what? I actually realized I just said that, and I was like, that wasn't a good animal. So let me take it to a squirrel. That's my favorite animal. You'll be a monkey, right? Let me take that back. Uh, Squirrel, because I like the squirrel. But um, I was a good squirrel too. Right. Good at it. Um, But yeah, you know. And now with Queen Sugar, it's like I have some sense of normalcy, which is really nice to just just kind of get to uh, the human relationships, the human flaws, the things that make us who we are, the imperfectness of everyone. And I I love kind of delving into that because it's just in a place that I think a lot of people haven't seen me in, yeah. you know, and it, and it's nice. It's nice to be normal, you know, not running around in the woods with my clothes off yeah. and stuff like that. We're going to talk about that. <laughs> Retina Wesley is here. 888-742-3345, especially too. Do you think, because maybe people listening to the show right now and they're considering, even with your training with Juilliard, do you still take acting classes? I don't. You don't take, take acting classes. Would you recommend it? For people, though, that's trying to... I recommend anything that is going to keep you inspired, that is going to keep you, that is going to remind you and constantly remind you of why you do what you do, why you why I lo- why you love to do what you do. So for mm-hmm. me, I go do a, I try to do a play on my hiatuses. That's how I get my inspiration. I stay inspired. Um, I also learn every day on set. I, I mean, I feel like if I get to the point where I arrive at set and I'm like, you know what? I just nailed that. I nailed that scene. For me, it's time to figure out something else to do. Because I feel like if you've really mastered your craft, then maybe you should become a director. Maybe now you should produce. produce. But I don't feel like I, I can never master it. I feel like if I do get there, then it's it's time to move on. So I learned every day on that set in so many ways. I mean, Nova is the most uh, challenging character I've played. So it's it's just, yeah. It, We're going to talk about Nova and, and Queen Sugar. You got any questions for Retina? 888-742-3345. Citizens, it's Swain in the morning. Shay 45. Ralph Angel. I love Retina Wesley, man. Mm. Swain in the morning. Shay 45. That's her voice playing Nova from <laughs> Queen Sugar tonight on OWN. Man, congratulations. Congratulations, mm-hmm. Retina. Congratulations, Oprah Winfrey. Congratulations. I remember it... it, it I'm proud to say own. Like, I remember when Oprah Winfrey was first trying to start a network and people were just talking crap and people were just saying stuff and, oh, it's losing money or it's going to lose money. What is she doing? She should just stick to her television show. Why is she trying to own a network? Why not? Right. Right. Why not? Well, I mean, why why shouldn't you go for the moon? You know, why shouldn't you be your best self at all times why shouldn't you if you're an empowering woman why shouldn't you empower other women why should like I just love that she is just you know to the moon she she just keeps going and and you can't stop that train you know and Mm. I got I'll get right on the train (laughs) with her and just take the ride it's a beautiful it's a beautiful ride that um the woman is full of so much grace um and it is an honor and uh it's an honor to be in her presence and and to be uh a part of something that she's she's on it really is an honor both of them her and Ava uh, mm-hmm. DuVernay are just they're trailblazers they what really was it are. like getting a phone call man day after my birthday Ava called me and first of all it's like you know Ava DuVernay is on your phone uh huh you know <laughs> <laughs> I was like oh 
do I answer? Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, and uh, that was the best birthday present ever. You know, me turning 37, me me going, what does this new year have for me? And uh, there it was. And I mm. feel like for me, the moment, it, it was a moment that I was being really still with myself too because I felt like for me, I was like, okay, you just need to slow down for a minute. What's just be still, be patient. And, uh, you know, I'm proof that if, yeah, I feel like if you're patient and if you, what you want, if you want something in your heart, uh, you, you may have to work for it, but uh, it will come. It mm. may not come when you want it to come, when you think you need it, but it'll be right on time. And that phone call was right on time. And it was like, um, any brown girl that I know, any actor that I know, that playing overboard alone, that role is would be any actress's dream that mm-hmm. I know. She's so fleshed out. Uh, she's full. She's a fully realized woman. Um, and she's black and she's beautiful and, and she's got dreads. And she's. I just loved that I really got to delve into something in my full self of being a dark-skinned black woman. And Ava loved everything about that. Um, you know, the opening scene is just... Uh, when I saw it, the first thing I said after that episode, I told Ava, I said, I, I just, I've never seen myself look so pretty. Wow. I've never seen myself look so pretty. And it's like, you know, when you really see your skin color, like that's the melanin popping. That's and what we look it, like. And right. you it. Yeah. yeah, you have to. I just, you know, she made that. She called me and said, I'd like to welcome you, you know, uh, play Nova on uh, Queen Sugar. I'd like to welcome you to the family. And uh, I think I, I, I paused for probably what was like 30 seconds or 10, but probably seemed like five minutes. And um, she said, and uh, also just so you know, I've cast Don Leon as Charlie. And Don Leon and I went to Juilliard together. Mm-hmm. Um, and that was, Don Leon has been the blessing in this. Because not only do we know each other, not only have we did we do for color girls who consider suicide when the rainbow right. isn't enough at Juilliard, all the brown girls got together and mm-hmm. put it on ourselves. Because we was like, we want to do a project for us. So we just have to do it ourselves. Sometimes you got to do your own work. Mm-hmm. You got you to gotta, you know, put forth the effort for yourself. And so to already have that sisterhood from, what, 10 plus years now, we got on set and it was like we got straight to the work. Didn't have to, it wasn't, I didn't have to figure her out. I didn't have to know what it was going to be like. I already knew. So when you see us embrace mm-hmm. at the end of that episode, uh, she ran to me with all her might. She didn't, we didn't talk about it. <coughs> there was no, she just, because she knew I'd catch her. Right. And I literally had to catch her. I, I actually picked her up because she ran at me with everything she had because that's what that is. Man, Martina, you moving people in here today. Got me ready to cry. Got people in their cars. I know they crying with that story. Well, really, it's like a testimony getting that call the day after your birthday and, and ready for it. DB, you have a question? Yeah, because uh, I wanted to go back to what you mentioned earlier about method acting because some mm-hmm. people might not be familiar with what that term is. And I know there's guys like Daniel Day-Lewis. Uh, uh, Jared Leto who just did Suicide Squad and mm-hmm. you know there's some people who might really take it to the extreme when it comes to method acting and really going deep into finding you know how to play a character right uh, have you ever struggled with maybe going too deep and try to get into character for a role whether it was this in Queen Sugar or anything in the past uh, yeah actually um, I think well for me I really do give 150% like I just gotta go all in um, and that's why I, I listen to a lot of music um, to get me into a character or to a scene, a situation. And I also listen to music to just come down. Usually when I come home from work, it takes me about uh, two hours, mm. like from when I'm actually at home to unwind from the day. Um, because I just have to get into the headspace of the character I'm playing. And, you know, Tara went through some things yeah. now. You know, Tara was I, I, you know, she was sleeping with men. She slept with women. She duct tape to the toilet. Yeah. Come on with the duct. Come on. So that with was the, too- running through the fields. Yeah. I was like, really? What? Wow. I can't. I, I had to go home and was like, OK, get your life, Rutina. Get it together. Let's breathe and let's put on some tunes. <laughs> you know, let's get back to ourselves, you know. Um, but I love method acting in a sense because uh, mm-hmm. it's like you really there are some characters and some wonderful performances we've seen where pe- we've seen people really uh, transform themselves. Like I love Johnny Depp in a sense of like Edward Scissor's hands. Right. Edward Scissor's hands. Mm-hmm. That is a character that it's like, you know, once he put those scissors on his hand, he probably that was maybe his end of figuring out how that character moved around. And then maybe he's a little stiff. And so it's just you do have to like really jump in there. And then there's some characters that you you know that if you're playing like maybe a lawyer or something, it's just more. I would say if I'm playing a character like that, I start with myself. I start with Rutina, and then I build upon that as I get the scripts and the story. So I always start with self. So, 
888-742-3345 if you want to talk to Retina. Hold on. We got some calls here. Robert, what's up? Um, you talking, calling from Chicago. How you doing? I'm good. How you doing? Doing really good, man. I'm sitting here just talking to Retina. I feel like I'm on the porch with one of my cousins just hanging out <laughs> and talking, and she telling those good stories, you know? Yeah, it kind of sounds that way, too. Uh, you know, just as a listener, sitting here, uh, you know, driving along and listening to you guys speak. Uh, Rutina, first of all, I want to uh, congratulate you on a great career so far. Yeah, and, thank you. Um, you know, I wish you much success in the future. It's, it's, it was True Blood was one of my favorite shows. Um, a friend of mine started told me about it because I went to high school with Nelson Ellis. Oh, and, uh, okay, I love yeah. him. Yes. Yeah, yeah, Nelson's a good dude. So I, um, you know, wanted to support Nelson. And uh, it's always interesting to watch, you know, his characterization and, uh, you know, just to hear you, like, I've, I've, I've never really uh, um, seen or heard an interview with you. And um, to hear the, the difference, you know, you're a completely different person than the character that you played. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because <laughs> you didn't know, like, so, you're waiting for, for Tara to pop up, right? Right. <laughs> right. You're waiting exactly. for me to come cuss somebody out real quick. <laughs> right. So, yeah, but, but much success uh, to you in the future. And, Thank uh, you. you know, I, I, I look forward to being entertained by you, you know, for years to come. Robert, watch Queen Sugar tonight. It's on OWN um, at 10 p.m. Eastern, okay? Make sure you watch it. you in Chicago. Y'all got a rep for Oprah out there in Chicago. Right. That Harpo, that's where it was all started up. So make sure you rock with her, Robert. You're a citizen of Swain in the morning. Thank you so much. And citizens out there, just support. Rotina, you on uh, social media? Yes. You're active on it, like uh, yeah. I'm more active on uh, Instagram. Okay, uh, getting better Instagram? at Twitter. Uh, yeah, it's um, Rutina at Rutina Wesley underscore uh, Rutina underscore Wesley. Okay, yeah. Rutina R U T I N A underscore Wesley. Uh, make sure you hit her up. Let her know you heard her or sway in the morning. Thank you, sis, so yeah, much. Thank like you for this was me. really it's a cool, and I, and I appreciate you just sharing your story because it is inspirational. You know, especially when you said. Sometimes you have to do it yourself. You yeah. know, people just say no or they say this and you get the door slammed on you. We were having that conversation before you walked in today and you do. You have to just take those no's sometimes and use it for fuel to keep pushing forward. So thank you for yeah. sharing your story today as Much well, love. man. Thank you. Anytime. Just come back. Come back. It's Sway in the Morning. Only on Shade 45. <laughs> Kill 